The first step for a prospective volunteer is to find and contact a sending organization and together with them think about what do I want to do during my European voluntary service? Why do I want to go on European voluntary service? Which field do I want to volunteer in? What do I have to offer the place I will be going to? Ideas on a region or country? Based on these answers, they can together go and consult the database of approved hosting organizations. For a sending organization, reflect on why do we want to send young people on European voluntary service? How does sending people fit into our other work, objectives, schedule? Do we have the competences, capacity and staff to prepare our young people to go on EBS? How will we follow the volunteer throughout all stages of the project? What do we want to do with EBS volunteers who come back? How will we give value to their experience, use their new competences and give opportunities to these young people? Once you have answers to these questions and still feel it's the right thing for your organization, you need to contact your national agency. They will assist or guide you through the next steps which are filling in the application form, understanding the process of accreditation, doing the accreditation, giving a positive answer or helping you improve it. You're good to go. For a hosting organization, you need to collectively reflect on why do we want to host European voluntary service? What do we have to offer the volunteers? What will a volunteer concretely do here? What profile of person do we want to host? Any? Experienced? Set limits? Where will this person live? What does he or she eat? Who will deal with him or her? You need a job tutor and a mentor. How can we make this person feel good here? Is there something to do in their free time? Are there other young people around? Can we give the volunteer room to use their initiative in the work he or she does? Would you like to do the EVS you are proposing? Once you have answers to these questions and still feel it's the right thing for your organization, you need to contact your national agency. They will help you with the next steps which are filling in the application form, explaining the process of accreditation, doing the accreditation, giving a positive answer or helping you improve it. Financial aspects. The volunteer's international travel covers reasonable travel costs from the volunteer's home to the hosting organization. The contribution to the sending organization's activities like recruitment, preparation, contact, assessment and follow-up is a lump sum payment depending upon the length of the project and is determined by country. Exceptional volunteer costs related to the special needs of the volunteer, for example, medical attendance, additional preparation, etc., are paid in full provided they are reasonable and justifiable. The volunteer's allowance is fixed per host country and is paid in full to the host organization and given to the volunteer weekly or monthly. The accreditation process. Before an organization can send to a host EVS, they need to be approved by their national agency or SALTO, Southeast European or SALTO Eastern European Caucasus for partner and neighboring countries. This process is to ensure you have the competences and facilities to send or host volunteers in the best possible conditions.